Start recording. So now that we are recording, we're gonna walk us through the assignment for this particular week. It's gonna be real simple. Honestly, it's probably easier than Flappy Bird. We're just gonna make a quick little maze. Uh, maze. A ma then if you got a 10 on a 10 on the assignment, then that's not the assignment you're missing. Check check the grade again. Find the assignment that you got an M or a zero on, and then find out. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. So, all right. So we're making a maze. Uh, live in class with everybody. We have a little cat right here. And the first thing, obviously, if we have a maze, we need to be able to move the cat around the screen, ideally with the arrow keys. So we're going to go into control. No, we're going to go into event. And we've got this when space is key pressed. Um, it, and you can drop down space and you can get any button, most buttons on your keyboard. And specifically, the ones we want are the up, down, right, and left arrow keys. Uh, which are very exciting. So for the up arrow key, we're going to have that. We're going to duplicate it. And we're going to have the down arrow key, and we're going to duplicate it. And we're going to have the right arrow key. How to duplicate? I right click and click duplicate. Now, if you don't have a right click, if you're using like a touchpad or something on a Macintosh, it's a two finger click on a Windows. I don't know, maybe click on the right side of the mouse pad or maybe do the two finger click or something. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, so I'm going to arrange these up. This is right, this is down, this is left. So now that they make sense in my brain in the right spots, all right? And when I hit the up arrow key, I want him to go up. So that's in motion because that's where the going thing is. And I think that the cutest thing to do with, well, let's do the right first, okay? With right, let's just move 10 and if he moves 10. It's not exactly the, the smoothest position, right? He's kind of jumping 10 forward, but that's okay with me right now. Um, I'd like him to move left 10 spaces as well, but to make him go left, it'd be negative spaces. So now I can left him and I can right him. And I'm, I'm pumped about this. So far, so good. Two out of four buttons are done. For the right arrow key, or for, sorry, for the up arrow key, if I grab my move here, um, he goes forward, that's not up. And if I look at it, I got, I, I don't have, like I can change the Y, right? In fact, let's grab change Y by 10. Let's get rid of that move. And let's go up now, boop, boop, boop. And in fact, like if I go change X right over here by 10, this is effectively uh, doing the same thing, right? Uh, change X by and move minus or plus steps. It's the same kind of code. Um, but for the Y, you have to do the change Y by 10. And let's go ahead and grab that change Y by 10 down here and put negative in it. Uh, and then, then I can go up and down and left and right. Now, this isn't the smoothest thing, right? Like, I don't know if you can tell, but like if you zoom in here, right? If you zoom in, you, he just teleports himself 10 to the right, which 10 to the right isn't that big of a deal. It doesn't look that bad, but also like if you hold it, it just looks, looks janky. I guess it looks, it looks jerky. Also, it doesn't like, he doesn't move, right? Like he could move, you know, if we animated this, that would be neat, you know? So like we want it to look good, but right now we want it to, to move. But also like this whole like up thing, he's not moving in the right direction. I want him to look in the place that he's going. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change this turn. And um, when he goes up, I want him to point in direction. Let's point in direction 90. Well, no, let's, let's point in the direction zero, apparently. There we go. And then I wonder if I can just use my move. And in fact, I totally can because that's how, oh, it totally didn't work. Oh, point in direction zero. There we go. And now move. Now he's pointing up. Yeah, that's great. Now he's, uh, he's rotated around. And this is hilarious because my left arrow is now actually going to the left, which is not what I want. So I'm going to grab... I'm going to get rid of all of these. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to have them point in a different direction and then move in that direction every time. So right would be 90. These are degrees around a circle. Uh, down would be 180. And um, left would be like 270 something. Negative 90? That was unexpected. 180, negative 90. All right. So left would be negative 90. Let's go ahead and up and left. He's upside down, which is kind of not exactly what I wanted. Right and then down. This, this makes sense here. This, this makes sense. Wee, wee, wahoo. But he's upside down when he goes to the left. And I don't know if you've noticed that, but 
but normally when I go to the left, I don't turn upside down. So that is a that is a weird thing, and I'll I'll fix that later, I'm sure. Um, but for now, this is this is gooding. I mean, you know, we're we're able to go across the screen. This is great, you know. If I go in this like sort of direction, it almost looks like I'm walking around a, a very tiny planet. Not cool, dude. All right, so. And we are back. So what we're actually trying to do, if we remember, is move the little cat thing around the screen. Um, and we can move the cat thing around the screen. It goes in the direction we want it to, which honestly, for the purposes of this game right now, will work. Because what we want to do next is actually make a maze so that if, if like, you know, as it's going around, if it hits a wall, it can't hit a wall basically, right? And to do that, we need to make the actual maze. Uh, we can draw the maze. Um, we can see if there is a maze kind of thing in here. I'm not seeing anything that looks really maze-like. So what you're gonna do then is you're probably just gonna draw your own maze. Um, and to draw your own maze, we're gonna get a nice cool color. This is the outline color we want. I like purple. Why, why isn't it letting me make a color here? Is it only black? Why is it only black? Oh, there we go. I'm changing the color. Here we go. There we go. So let's change the color to uh, purple. Sure, that looks great. And let's uh, let's delete this little thing. We don't need it. That's fantastic. Let's make this thicker to tin. Yeah, perfect. That's fantastic. Okay, so I'm just gonna get some border here around my screen here. This is this is good so far. Uh, and then, um, great job. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna start here. I'm just gonna make it go up, and then this is gonna have like a little ziggy zaggy thing coming right back down. Let's go up. It's more a labyrinth than a maze, I'm guessing, without any dead ends, because I don't want to make it too hard on myself. Um, let's make this come all the way over to like right there, and go up there, and then have this one come down here, and then. You know, just like, uh, let's do, let's do this. Perfect. That's a very beautiful maze. It's, it's just so inspiring. All right. So now we've got our maze. Um, what we're going to need to do, obviously, is go into our sprite again. And we need to make our sprite nice and small so he can fit in there. So we're going to change his size to, I don't know, like maybe 30. Yeah, 30 looks good. Move him around a little bit. I don't think he's going to run into any walls if he tries really hard. So far, so good. That's that's a little tight right there, but that's okay. It's, you know, it's difficulty. All right, so we're going to start down here. So on my start, here, here we go. On my events, we're going to go on clicked, and we're going to move him right now. We're going to move him to this position. So we're going to go to right here, and we're going to point in direction as well. We're going to point in direction 90 so that it's just right away. Great job. Great job. Uh, beautiful. And then, oh, these got switched around. There we go. Much better. So now when we restart the maze, that's 90. And then we can go up. We can go over. Come on down. I can totally do this maze. Look at me. I'm so good. Now, obviously, I'm keeping myself in the lines right now. Um, I haven't touched any of the lines, which is really cool. But uh, also, I haven't touched any of the lines, right? And, and like, I could totally just cheat, right? Like, I can cheat. I don't want to be able to cheat. So I need to do some sensing right here, OK? And basically, in my arrow here, right, I'm going to notice already that these are, these are the same. Yes, these are the same. So I'm going to get an event or an event, a control. I'm going to get an if statement. I only want to move if I can move. All right. So if my if I'm touching the color uh, operators, where's my not? Not. There we go. If I am not, here we go. Touching color. Then I'll move. And my color here should be. I'm gonna swab it. Get this particular color right there. Great. So this particular bit of code. I need to copy that, and duplicate it, and just put it put it here, right? I don't need that moving. I don't need this moving. I don't need this moving. I need this duplicated, and I need this duplicated. And I'll be honest, ladies and gentlemen, 
this whole like one, two, three, four, that, that four bits of repeated code just hurts me and my soul. I don't like to see repeated code because like that's annoying. What if I want to change it later? What if I want them to move 10 and a half steps? Or what if I want them to move seven steps? I have to change things four times and I got to tell you that that's not fun. It's not fun at all. But let's make sure this works. If I run into a, uh oh, uh oh, I am stuck. I am definitely stuck. All right, let's try it again. Uh, so let's go and then I'll just go forward here. And I can't pass it, which is good, but I also can't get out of it, which is really sad because I am stuck here. This is, this is very sad. Very, very sad. It's so sad because I, I got stuck here. Because I went 10, ready? Let me zoom in. Because I'm going 10 forward, right? Boop. And now I'm stuck in there. Can't do anything to get out. Cannot, I, can't, I can't get out because I'm always touching the darn thing. And as long as I'm touching that purple, I am stuck in that purple right now with our code, which is really sad, right? So what we're going to do um, if if not touching the color, then move 10 steps would be nice, right? And that would be nice. Yeah, and what, what, well, what we could do really too, is we could double check it right afterwards, right? And we could come in and we could do an, another like event, no, another control, where we could check here inside of it, right? If it's touching the color right now, after we move, right? If it's touching the color, oh, you know what? I'll just grab this, God, duplicate that. Then I'm gonna move move backwards in steps. Do no nope, shoot. I'm just gonna move back minus ten steps. All right, let's duplicate that. See, look at this. Look how painful it is to do this four times. Oh my gosh, there's got to be an easier way. There's got to be an easier way, and there is. There is an easier way. Okay, so now if I go forward, uh, and then I don't get stuck, which is nice, you know, and I just can't get close to it to touch it, right? So. Here I am going on, go forward, not going forward, going forward. And look, look, I'm just not, I'm not going in at all because if I do go in, which is a genius over here, right? If I go in, if I'm not touching it, I can go forward, but then immediately after, if I am touching it, I just move 10 steps back, right? And basically I bounce back before anybody can tell. But again, look at all this com com just double, double coded stuff. I don't like this. We're gonna make a new, do, new block and we're just gonna call it move. All right, we're gonna go okay. We're gonna take our move and we're gonna shove our move into there. And uh, let's zoom out a bit so we can see things better. And let's just get rid of all of this because all of this is just repeated code. And this should just be move. And this should just be move. And this should be move. And this should be move. So now when I go up, right, down, or left, or whatever, right, it should just move. I should just call the function move. And now I can zoom in on just the function move. And if I need to change something here in one spot, I can change it in one spot and change, instead of changing it in four different spots. I'm very excited about this. Let's make sure it still works, totally still works. I'm great, this is, this is fantastic. Again, notice here, like, I might wanna be able to, to go a little like, you know, closer to it, right? Or, or maybe I wanna glide 10 steps. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go into motion. Let's go to glide to random position. Oh, I don't want to do that. Where, where do I change? There's no glide position forward, huh? Well, I'm not going to do that then. Fine. All right. So anyway, I can do that, but I want to move maybe less, less five steps, you know, and make it go five steps so it doesn't look as like glitchy, right? Uh, so now I can get a little bit closer there. I can go a little closer there. Uh, oh, that. That wall is kind of angled, which is hilarious. Now I can't, I can't cut through here. This is great. So now what I want to do here, really, I mean, it still has a lot to do, but I want to have a win. I want to have a winning spot, right? I have a starting spot, right? There's, there's my starting spot. I want to have a winning spot. And I think the easiest way, right, to do that so that we can change the winning spot is uh, what are cats obviously always looking for? They're looking for butterflies yeah that's great okay and we're back um for the third time today so obviously cats are after butterflies that's like you know obvious uh we're gonna make it much smaller maybe 20 small that's great we're gonna put it over here just for the ending of it right now 
And in the events when we start, we're actually going to go, we're going to go there, you know, to that position, um, go to this position. And then the fun part here is that we can actually, with a reason here, we could probably make a couple of different spots for our butterfly to go, right? Uh, and maybe even have different um, backdrops or different levels um, in our backdrops. And so we'll, we'll get to level two in a little bit. But right here, we definitely want to have a sensing again. Oh, no, sorry, in an events, control, in a control. And I'm going to go if, and then into sensing, if I'm touching, can I drop this down? Butterfly one, perfect. If touching butterfly one, this is effectively me winning, uh, but there's no like forever loop here, right? Like this isn't, this isn't checking. Um, you know, there's my, there's my win clicked. Here's my if, I need my if to be in one of these things. And right now I could definitely check it at the end of move just to see after I've moved, have I touched the butterfly? Um, which makes sense, go for it. At the end of the move, let's just check to see if we are touching, not the mouse fly, but the butterfly. And if we're touching the butterfly, then I wanna have like a little comment here, new level, all right? And yeah, there we go. Just make a new level happen right now. For now, I'm not gonna do anything with it, but that's what it's gonna do. In fact, actually what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna make a new level right away. I'm just going to make a new level, guys. We're going back into our backdrops. We're going to make a new, nope, sorry. We're going to make a new, um, just a new one. So that's backdrop one. This is backdrop two. It's effectively a different, um, what's it called? Sprite sheet costume. It's a different costume for the same backdrop. I'm going to make another maze here. All right. Here's, here's my maze. There's my maze. Just crossing everything over here. All right, and then we're gonna start in the middle this time. Bloop, 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 bloop. I'm so good at this. Here's my little bit of maze here. It's like, a, you know, it's a thing. And then I'm gonna put my butterfly for backdrop number two over here, right? So, so now, oh, that's my backdrop. I'm good with my backdrop. Uh, in my code here for butterfly, I want to, if I touch the butterfly, I want to make a new level, which means I need to change the backdrop, right? Can I change the backdrop of a different switch backdrop to backdrop two? I can totally do that. Check that out. Switch backdrop to backdrop two. Yeah, good. Oh, oh, you know what? Better than that, I can just go to next backdrop. This is great. This is fantastic. Next backdrop. And then I do need to make sure that when I click the green button, I switch the backdrop to backdrop number one then. Okay. So that I always start at level one and then this will be level two. And then this is level one, right? Um, when I click it, that's the, that's the end of there. But when I get an event, when I receive level two, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move to a different position and the different position I'm going to move to is over here. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, I'm just going to go to that spot. Bam, that's level two. That's all I need for the butterfly. My cat, obviously when my cat is at level two, I want the cat to be right here. So we're going to move to, um, negative four, negative two, bam. So now I've got a second level. Uh, let's go ahead and start it over. Let's go get my little bug. Waka, waka, waka. Very exciting right now. I just got to walk all the way over there. This is great. Just on my happy little walk. This is, this is fantastic. Now, of course, I could, I could change this so that the uh, move thing happens more automatically. I don't have to wait for it to, uh, oh, to, oh, that's a skinny spot. There we go, okay. There we go. And level two, woohoo! Oh no, my butterfly isn't quite in the right spot. Where's my butterfly at? 
my butterfly, I wanted my butterfly to be over here, which, oh, you know what I haven't done? Hold on a second. Here, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing the thing. I'm not broadcasting level two. There we go. Let's try that again. We. I just want to cheat, but I can't cheat because that would be bad. 